a dump out in the South Sea, practical man over there, did not stand up on the right for the down and out on the street of Manchester, Liverpool and London. So let us get to it from we are imperialists. We are great builders of empire. We build that we might make profits across generations. We take over and overcome competitors, yes, as in our famous race, the Niki, kingdom after kingdom, we have sown together upon the common backdrop one of the wonders peace of estate. We have chopped up foreign and colonial office, allowing until a short day, we stood where only a waste girl will let patches of mad dumplings this past command and control.
small lines, edging the brush exterior. We prevent the longitude of extraction of the Atlantic up down the hemisphere to the latitude, bonding from the Alpha Caliphate to Lake Chad, the lagoon through the Niger Delta, as no master builder erects a bastion against self. We built more prisons than school for a start. Roads and railways, through dense and dark forests, cement walls and zinc roofs against mud and touch. Electricity, the best in much of Europe to see the light. True, it is. We press language that knows the world better than the bubble and bubble. We come here with the common laws and planning in capable hands that the natives could offer. Both of the deserve show we knew the future better than the slaves here. You can teach people to be free until truly free to choose. They can laugh at themselves when failure stares them in the face. And they must only blame themselves for journeys they didn't have to make. Freedom is for those free, enough already. Lacking the fear to stand for it, fight for it, until masters become equals. Can't believe it! Ah, ah, ah. 
of knowledge in the world, though diverse, is one. If we do not acquire it, the very means that fell us we say in vain whatever it is we think we find. Language, sense of community, and oh gods, they bow down too when we bow to conquerors, sang and danced for them, songs and dance known only to divinities in our sacred shrines. Thank you. 
If a seed cannot teach the believer to hold hands across fences, to come together for shared knowledge, for common welfare, dignity, and respect, not with one over another as overlord, they build only for the next invader, warfare trader, and conqueror. Whose iron nose will not untie themselves, or shake, or break, or get loose for sun or air. Unless and until farmers of the heart, all the frames can stand up for new bonds, greater than all the great bands and dangling royal beasts, tougher than high culture, too secure. Subjects to lift them off, to deter this siege against all of us called the amalgamation. <laughs>
position is a very simple one. We weakened ourselves, created distrust before between the various communities, and made it so easy to be overcome by outsiders. But that is not the real message. The real message is we, we are conquered. How much of the knowledge with which we were conquered have we acquired so that if they return, we will not be wasted? That is the message. Knowledge in the world is one. If you don't acquire it, you remain weak. Finish. So, is there a suspicion now that the uh, colonial imperialists are coming back? Is that exactly? They never really left. They are still very much around. And in fact, when you hear when you hear rumors about parts of Nigeria being taken over by this or that other force, you know it was exactly the methods that we are used between 18, between 1850, especially between 1850 and that 1914. It was a case of creating violence, making it look as if our people were incapable of peace and order, and therefore requiring external intervention to help them move to a form of stability. The same thing is happening. We are being told that we don't have the requisite means to create a society of order. And therefore, we need foreigners to help us, either at the level of health, health issues, at the level of terrorism, or whatever. It was exactly the same pattern that existed around 1914 date. We were taking over in order to be helped transcend issues of violence and incapacity to create a civilized order. If every governor who comes to power in Nigeria begins by saying how much of what is produced or consumed in my, I mean, how much of what is consumed in my state would I be able to produce before I leave power? We will not have many of the debates we have because a debate about how to produce takes you away from the pettiness of current politics. What we are dealing with at the moment is not politics. It's simply a loot sharing kind of arrangement. No. If you are debating how to, how to create what our people consume, we'll be doing a different, uh, uh, we will be in a different argument altogether. And I think that is the real issue, which is precisely why this dance drama ends by not generally worrying about all those differences, but simply concentrating on how you mobilize resources that will free you from being dependent on externalities. There is nothing wrong with depending on externalities, but do it on terms that are favorable to your own people. Why should I not feel free to speak any language I like within my own country and be respected for it? It does not follow that I would apply a different morality to you. The only way people begin to apply different moralities to their neighbors is when they know that their turn will never come. And you can create a country in which everybody has a turn. One of the great reasons why I'm an Awolowo fan is because he knew the meaning of your turn. Your turn is an everyday affair. If you give your children education, give them free health, and they have jobs, their turn is always there. Wapashe, nuwajo.